Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the mouse events um, that we have that we can listen for. And we've already looked at click, but there's many others as well. So I'm going to just pick something on the page to assign these event listeners to. I'm going to use the logo. So I'll say document dot query selector and I'll just select the IMG because it's the only IMG on the page. And then I'm going to put all my event listeners at the bottom of the page which is my preference. If I have my event listeners hooked to a function, I like to put the functions up top and the event listeners at in the bottom. So let's do a click just so just to be consistent and have all the mouse events. I know we've already looked at it, but we're going to say add event listener and we're going to listen for a click and then we'll have a function called on click. All right. And then we'll create that function up here. I'm going to use arrow functions just to keep them shorter. So we'll say const on click and then I'm just going to do a console dot log and say uh, click event. All right. So if I come over here to the logo and I click, I'm going to see click event. So the next one I'm going to show you is double click. Now what we call the function like right here, I can call it anything. I'll call this on double click. This is, is where you need to be specific. So double click is DBL click and it's all lowercase. It's not like this, right? If you if you've used jQuery before um, and you used events there, you, it, it was camel case. But in this case, it's going to be all lower. Um, so let's copy this down and we'll say on uh, double click, then let's say double click event. So now if I come over here and I if I click once, I get click event. If I double click, I'm still going to get my my two click events, but it's also going to fire off the double click event. All right. And just to make this a, a little more fun, let's actually put some curly braces here, make a code block and let's have it do something else. So I would encourage you if you're just learning this stuff, I'd encourage you to, to just create events and just do some weird stuff, you know, like maybe we can take the body uh, background color and change it. So we'll say style dot uh, background color and we'll set that to purple. So now if I come over here onto the logo and I double click, we get a background of purple and maybe we want to toggle it. So what we could do is put an if statement around this and say if it's not equal to purple, then we're going to make it purple and we're also going to make the text white. So I'll go like that and then set the style color to white else because we want to be able to toggle it. So else then we're going to set the background to white and we'll set the uh, we'll set the text color to black. All right. So now if I come over here and I double click changes the background in the text color, I double click again. It goes back to white and I can toggle it right because we're just we have an if statement. We're checking that background color. All right. So I mean, I know that's kind of pointless and stupid, but it, it helps you learn. So I would encourage you to just do stuff like this as you're learning. All right. The next I know that was kind of a, a tangent, but the next one is to if you want to right click and the event is not called right click, it's called context menu because that's what it do, usually does is open up a context menu. But I'm going to call the function here on right click and then I'll just um, we'll grab that and let's change this to on right click. And we'll say right click event. And again, if you want to do something else other than just a console log, you can. But if you'll see now if I right click the context menu opens up, but it also shows me the, the, the console log. OK, the next one is the mouse down and mouse up. So let's do mouse down and then we'll call this. On mouse down now. Oh, we need to create our function. Let's say mouse mouse down event and we'll call this on mouse down. 
okay so what this pertains to is when you when you take your mouse and you just click and hold see I'm, I'm holding the 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 left button down right now that's the mouse down okay when I let go then it'll say click event because the click consists of down and up a mouse down is just when you hold it down because you might have something maybe you're creating a game where you like click and drag or something like that and you want to have something happen when that as soon as that mouse goes down and at the same time you can also have a mouse up so let's say on mouse up and we're going to listen for mouse up and we'll just copy that on mouse up and mouse up all right so now if i come over here and i click and hold i can see the mouse down event when i let go we're going to see the click but we also see the mouse up okay so mouse down mouse up next one is wheel so if you want to have an event on the mouse wheel and the event is is called wheel so we'll bring this down and let's say on mouse wheel Okay, so now if I just if I scroll and I'm not over that the, the logo, the, the item where this, that this is on, then it's not going to do anything down here. But if I come over it and I scroll, now we'll see the mouse wheel event and it's going to fire every time I do a little, you know, a little scroll or whatever. So those are, are the events for the buttons. Now we also have events for hovering. There isn't a, an actual hover event that I know that for me, Back in the day when I learned JavaScript, I also learned jQuery at the same time, which I wouldn't recommend. And there's a hover event in jQuery. But with JavaScript, you have mouse over and mouse out. So let's say, let's copy this down. And let's say mouse over. And then we'll say on mouse over. And then let's copy this down. And say mouse over over event on mouse over all right so now you'll see that when i go into the logo that mouse over event fires off okay if i come out it doesn't do anything if i go back in again so every time i go in then it's going to fire that off now the out does the opposite so let's say on mouse out and the event is called mouse out out all right so now if I go in I get mouse over if I come out I get mouse out all right so that's how that works and then the last couple I want to show you have to do with dragging so let's do we'll get more into drag and drop later but the first one I want to show you is drag start so we're going to say on drag start and the event name is drag drag start And then let's go up here and copy that down. We'll call this on drag start. Drag start event. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is come over to the logo. I'm going to click and hold and then move it. Okay, so you see that it only fires off when I click and I drag it and only fires once. It doesn't like keep going when I'm when I, I'm holding it and moving it around. That's the drag event. So that's what I want to show you next. So if we do, let's say on drag and just drag. And then we come up here and just say on drag. And drag events. So now As soon as I grab it and I pull, it's going to say drag start. But as long as I'm holding on to it, even if I don't move barely, it still is just going to keep firing off. And the faster I go, the faster, you know, the event's going to go off. So that's drag. And then you also have drag end for when it ends. So let's say on drag end. and say drag on drag end. All right, so now if I grab it, 
So you can see drag and then when I let go, we should get that drag end. Oh, I put <laughs> I did camel case here. All right, so if I let go, there we go, drag end event. So it'll just keep dragging until I let go and then we get the drag end. All right, so those are mouse events. In the next video, I want to before we move on to like keyboard events and stuff, I want to look at the event object. So there's actually an object when we fire off an event that we can get as uh, as a, a parameter here that we can use to to get all kinds of information. So I want to look at that in the next video.